Hey guys, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Another day and another mold. You might have seen this on the un, un, uh, what should I call it? The Timu haul. The unveiling of the Timu haul. The last one, I think it was on the last one. And this little mold came in and it's getting close to the 4th of July. So I'm going to get this one filled up and I'm going to use blue and red alcohol ink, both by Mod Podge. And this one's called navy blue. This one's called red. I am going to put the red in these stripes. And I'm going to put the blue around these stars. I don't know if you can see the stars. I'm going to put this red, white, and blue star glitter in the words. And it's going to be a super, super thin layer. I need to clean that out first. So it's going to be a super thin layer and then I'm just going to fill the rest up with white. That way when you see the rest of it will be white when we unmold it. So let me get some resin mixed up. I shall be right back. I've mixed up 30 milliliters of resin. I'm just going to split this between three. This is way, way more than I'm going to need because I'm barely going to be putting anything on the bottom of this. So I'm just going to split it up into three. One for the red one for the blue and one for the glitter. So it's definitely more than enough. So I'm just going to add red and blue until I'm happy with the opacity of it, which I kind of want pretty red. I might even add some pigment. Oh, I hate I hate mixing in these cups because they're ribbed and I completely forgot to pick a different cup. So if you have these, I don't know if you like them, but I don't like them because the ink gets stuck. The ink gets stuck in there. And if you want to test your color, just test it on a piece of paper towel. That's not too bad. I'll add a couple more drops. It's still going to be a little transparent. If you don't want to see mixing colors, if you are experienced at this, just fast forward this. This is mostly for beginners. So, a eh, little bit more red. All right, I'm going to set this one aside and do the blue. I was looking for a pigment in red, but I don't like any of them. They're not the right reds. So um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it this alcohol ink. I'll do the same thing with the blue. Let's get it to the right color that you want it. I forgot to put I usually put down parchment paper. I need to grab a piece of that underneath all this so I don't make a huge mess. Well, that came out my nice and dark the first time. Perfect. Set that aside. And now I'm just going to add some glitter to this. pretty heavy although it will sink and it's super shallow so it's not like 
it has anywhere to go because it doesn't but down that should be good uh i'm never sure let's put a little bit more and that wasn't very much more but <laughs> all right um let me get this mixed up grab a piece of parchment paper and then we will start getting this in our little sections all right i'm just going to get a piece a couple pieces of glitter out of here because i want it to be where i want it to be not where it wants to be so that should be good that's on the back Get it off so I don't think it's on the inside. All right, I'm just going to get a little. Hmm, you can either use something like this, which is normally what I use, my little silicone thing, or I'm going to try a dotting tool today. Which is this. And basically, I will zoom in for you. You just drop these colors. in the places around i mean this one can actually be kind of dripped in and then moved around i hope i think it's really hard to see so bear with me it's not going to just go everywhere because it will stop where the mold stops just stick it in and move it around As you can see, I have a ton left over, like I knew I would. I'm just going to take this lighter and pop any bubbles on the surface. I don't want to use a torch in here. It doesn't stay on very good because I have my ceiling fan on in here. So I just, my dotting tool works really well. And I have all different sizes. I have like five of them. So I use the super skinny one to get into that back line. So now I'm just going to do the red. I will try to do it so you can see.
I hope I wasn't blocking that the whole time. I apologize if I was. So everything, well, the red and the blue are in. I am going to clean up those edges with my silicone tool. I don't know if you could see that. This edge right, right in here. I don't know if it's going to make a difference because I have not used this mold before. But just in case it does, just take your time. You got plenty of time because it's so thin. Just wipe it off. No need to rush. I don't like wasting resin. I don't like a bad piece at the end because I didn't take my time. I got all of it. Um, hold on here. Yeah, I'm trying to get in this little corner where I over poured. I don't know if it matters, but I'm guessing it would matter. I'm just wiping it off on my paper towel. Until it's gone. No, I don't want it in my blue, that's for sure. I think there's supposed to be a line right down there. That looks pretty clean. One tiny dot right there. Got it. Okay, now I'm going to add the glitter in the same way. I have so much, you guys. I'm going to be making a lot of extras, so I hope you guys want some of my demos at cost, because that's how I sell them. Just email me at the email on the screen, and you can have some of these demos along with a bunch of freebies.
It is beautifully cured. It's nice and dry, not a bubble in sight. And I'll unmold these extras real quick. And then I'll get some white mixed up and pour it in a little ice cream cone. I'm going to paint the bottom cone uh, like a brownish color for the cone. Oh, good. This one stayed. I put the uh, glitter at the top and put the blue at the bottom. I'm glad it stayed that way. Cute. And then a little popsicle. And then I still had leftovers, so these will become, these are soft because they're so thin. These will become uh, bookmarks. Transparent. They need a couple days to get hard, but they do get hard. And the blue. All right, time to pour the white. I've got about 100 mLs of resin mixed up. This is my eye candy Satori white, white pigment that I'm going to use. I don't like this one as much for the waves like I do the uh, just resin pigment paste, so I'd rather use this one when I'm not doing waves doesn't do such a good job but still you barely need anything no matter which one you're using um, so yeah keep that in mind don't put too much in white takes longer to dry and cure for some reason I don't know why but it does so I'm just going to get this mixed up if you are new to resin and you haven't figured out the easiest way to clean these little silicone cups Go in my description box. I will save you a lot of trouble. It's like a minute and a half video and you will have this thing cleaned out in a minute. So do watch that. There's tons of stuff in my description. If you ever wonder what uh, my, my resin room looks like, you can always get a tour of it in there. I did pour my own countertop. So if you wanted to see the resin countertops, you can see that there. I know I have them all covered up where I'm working because resin will stick to resin. <laughs> So uh, that's why you don't see my countertops under here. Also, uh, uh, join my new Facebook group I'm putting out there for you guys. Look up Glitz and Glitter Resin Lovers under your groups. And it is a private group to keep the trolls out. So just request to join. And we can share all our work there as well. This is just about ready. I didn't quite have it mixed for my five minutes when I turned you back on. It's pretty white. All I'm going to do is just pour it and cure it. Thinking about getting a curing machine so I don't have to wait overnight. I don't know what I'm waiting for. But it's about time to get one to keep up all these videos for you guys. Quicker anyway. All right, that's good. However thick it is, it is. I'm not trying to fill this one up. It's kind of thick. This one went about two thirds of the way. All right, we're gonna let that sit. I'm gonna go clean my container and be back when it's cured. It's time to demold, guys. It's been about 12 hours. It's pretty solid. I see a piece of glitter got in the back, but that's okay, it's the back. We're gonna get this out of the mold and pray. All those pieces are attached and come out without a problem. Please, I hope. Okay, well, it's a little stained, 
but everything came out. Okay, ready? Oh, oh, the only thing I see is that little spot right there. A little bit of blue, but other than that, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. I could probably sand that down a bit. The words came out good. See, when you take your time and you get every little spot perfectly, there's a tiny bit up here that got in the red. You can even go over it with another layer of white, and that would shine it up a little bit more. It's not super shiny. That has a little bit of spotting on it. I'm not sure where that came from, though. I don't know if you could see it in there. But I think all in all, pretty cool. Pretty good mold. So I'll think about what I'm going to do with that. Um, if any of you wanted it cost, I would obviously cover that up with some white for you so you don't see it. So thank you guys for coming in today. I do appreciate every single one of you, especially the subscribers. If you have not become a subscriber, please do. It does help me out tremendously to keep making videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.